Ex-owner and CEO Elon Musk initially sparked a wave of backlash last Wednesday when he appeared to endorse a post promoting anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. I'm not going to go in it, but basically, X problems multiplied on Thursday when Media Matters for America... <laughs> what? Sorry, that headline got me. <laughs> okay. Said X, it had, X yeah, problems yeah, yeah, multiplied. Yeah, yeah, That's a pretty yeah. good one. Found ads for companies, including Apple... What's Bravo? Bravo yeah. is in the TV network? Is it? I don't know. We'll Oracle, Infinity, and IMB placed... Next to post celebrating Adolf Hitler and Nazi party in the platform. Basically, they've lost in conjunction with uh, Elon Musk's, you know, the, con- the conspiracy and, and the backlash from him supporting that tweet. Oh. And this happening. Uh, they've lost a lot of advertisers, right? Which include Chromecast, Comcast, Disney, Lionsgate, Paramount, Warner Brothers, oh. I- IBM, etc. etc. Et Bravo, if I've got this right, it's like artillery. It should not even be able to. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if that's the problem. U- USA is a whole different <laughs> place. Is another it's a whole different place to us anyway. But um, Elon, bro. Um, Got to be careful about what shit you say. If you're a person of stature, see, I get that you can have an opinion. But that, I get that you can have freedom of speech. I get it. But like... This is goes to your point, right? Yeah. I feel like this is the overarching theme for the episode that you've so well crafted. Can you be that big enough to avoid the... Uh, the backlash. The backlash. Yeah. I, I almost feel like he fuels into it. But 100%. like he, he almost can't help himself. But but I think the, 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 the narratives that I want to get into this specifically are two things. One is like, look, we see this in YouTube too as well. The internet's a pretty negative place at the moment, right? We it's, know it's always been a negative <laughs> place. What are you talking but right about? Now, right now, it's just... The ampli- world is shit. Right now, it's amplified, right? It's, it's definitely amplified a lot more. So two things happen here. One is like the Elon comments and that, yeah, like you, you can't condone that at all, right? Like, so I can understand Elon equals X, Elon equals Tesla. Anything he says, anything he shields is going to... They're going to have direct blowbacks into his company, right? But I guess what I'm trying to say is... In something that's almost, and this is to a, to a latter point, the AI conversation there, like Twitter and X, when you think of the amount of content and information that's being written, right? Mm. It's almost virtually impossible to moderate it. Almost virtually impossible, right? Mm-hmm. And when I say virtually impossible, it's, it's, it's difficult. So when Elon took X or Twitter, no, I'm just like confused what it's called now. Uh, he did so bringing back people that were blocked because he just wanted to enable f- free speech, right? Slash. At whatever cost. Yeah, like yeah. Th- there's a philosophical argument about that, but he wanted to enable it, right? So he brought back people that were banned, like Trump at the time, et cetera, et cetera, right? Which a lot of people had different things on it. I guess what I'm saying is a, lo- a chunk of these uh, companies have left X because they're saying that their ads are being shown alongside posts of like Nazi platform. There's a lot of random stuff That's what in I'm the s- world so, now. So what I'm... And the feed, like, pr- I'll even say as, as still of a user or whatnot of X, yep. the fact that the feed has so... I mean, all feeds have drastically changed from who you follow and that being it to now this Everything. algorithm of, like, if you've seen that one post and you've shown a level of interaction and engagement with it, you just get we're going to pepper you yeah. some more with that. And it really becomes this weird mirror of like, what the hell am I looking at? Slash, wow, this is really interesting in the fact that you can be entertained by such random fodder. There is a random, there is a random Twitter account that is on my feed now, and I feel like I'm now jumping into my, how do I say this, like my um, true crime era where it's just a whole lot of weird accidents weird things that have happened and they'll document it and share these posts i don't know man the whole point is what i'm trying to say is Mm. that inevitably the ability to control the placement from an advertiser's point of view is completely lost now yeah no that's completely that's exactly they will tell you that it's purely based on we are just we're trying we're just trying to reach the audience that you yeah. told us to reach based yeah. on these demographics, et cetera, on what time, whatever, all of these indicators. But the 
the forum, the platform that it's in now, mm. it's now a morphing into this completely different thing. And plus the input that has been put that's what I'm into saying. If, you, it if you're writing junk, is it's just that that's the junk that they've the placements that they got to advertise on, and right? The the it is the it is the place for such rife uh, misinformation. Mm. For example, uh, there was a quick video that covered the uh, the cricket. Fun, the cricket oh, final, yes, Australia yes, yes. versus India. Yep. And there was a random video that just showed like the Aussie captain standing there awkwardly. And they made, this person made it feel like Modi had just completely ignored him and gone off. The joys of video editing. You can make anything it look is bad insane, or good in a good edit. This place is so insane. Mm -hmm. No, but you're right. Like that's exactly what I was getting at. Like I can understand brands going away because look, Elon said something. I don't want to associate myself with that tick that, that checks. I don't want to be involved with an anti-Semitic. I'm not saying that that's what, like I don't want to be involved with someone who condones those actions. Yeah. Tick makes sense. Although I have a comment over this later. Uh, B, but if you're saying that because you're seeing your ads next to these posts, a part of me, brand safety. That's effectively what it is. I get it. But like I'm saying, because like it's almost virtually with the amount of information there, you almost have to peg in a level of like you are advertising in a, in an environment that like it's going to be very difficult to. Oh, it to, has to be the thing, right? This is the thing. It's um, there needs to be a nexus point where this realization happens. <coughs> But it is buyer beware, yeah. right? That's, it the, is, that's the point that is, I'm getting, right? It is, yeah, and I'm helping yeah. you get there. Clearly, it's <coughs> you okay? <laughs> Done it, man. It's it's all of this, all of this rife chat has got you in a bad place. Yeah. But it, you have to start Somewhere. understanding that things change, right? Back in the day, for advertisers, love Facebook. Facebook, what a great place. It's so cheap. It's so it's so cost it's so cost efficient in catching all these people and whatnot. But this algorithm that feeds into it and if you're trying to grab the mass of um dollars mm. and extract it, there's only so much content it can be associated by. So you gotta feed in other other stuff, right? Yeah. Like it's just the way of it is. Yeah, yeah. So the other bit that I thought was interesting for the brands that are, are trying to disassociate themselves with X and pausing it, I think IBM said that they have zero tolerance for hate speech and discrimination. What are IBM? Oh, I still I guess they're still pushing out chips. No, nah, they're right? still they're still doing they, they still do stuff. Maybe business business machines and stuff like that. Okay, anyway. I just, no, but like it's just it's it, been a while. No, it's I agree. Been a while. I agree. Yeah. So iconic. It's in my. So head. my question to you is. Yeah. Brands and social corporate responsibility, which is a big thing that brands are posting on now, right? As part of um, just like as over, part of ESG. as part of the brand, right? Like as part basically, of the ESG, right? ESG as well. Yep. So if IBM has this ha harsh of a stance, which is good, yeah, yep. I think that they should be consistent with it, and never come back on X because, at least during the Twitter time, and I think that if in a year's time they come back and doing it. Like it's all just for show, personally. What's what's your thoughts on that? It's a bit rough. Is it though? It's a bit rough. Yeah. I mean, like, what if Sam Altman takes over takes over X at some point of time? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Well, well that's it what changes. I mean. No, no, no. Things will change while, while things, Elon's here, though. While Elon's, while, while Elon's here, things will change based on context. Yeah. I would I would gear to think if I if I owned a brand and I had made that stance. I'm not even going to think about this from a people point of view. I'm thinking it from a channel point of view. Mm. You can prop it's you can probably have a whole lot of money spent elsewhere. I don't think t I don't think X is driving that m many conversions. Truthfully, like I could be wrong, mm. but it's a matter of you would like to think that if you're making a moral stance on something or a a a a posi taking a position, a hundred percent, I agree with you. You don't go back on it. The only thing I'll caveat that is context and circumstance. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. What, what, what's this? I don't know. 
I, I'm like I'm like wary of brands like like I, I think that you well, should like you should like know. greenwashing and and like all of that stuff. Of yeah, course, I, I that's, just think that you, that's been the that's been at the the forefront of time. Where I, I don't disagree that like the stance is right, wrong or right. I I just think that if if in two months time IBM is back advertising in X, like it means very little to fire me. your media agency. <sighs> anyway, it's just I don't I I think it's it's look. There's been probably a whole lot of other companies that have gone through other mm. things like that at a much worse point, whatever. Like it, you would like to think that, yes, from an ethics point of view, it's black or white. Mm. But then I'm sure there's a whole lot of factors that drive them to think that, you know, oh, well, you know, that was then. And, you know, they they repented and they, mm. they changed the way that they did things. And it's much better now. We have been informed, blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, if if you're telling me that X for some reason drives so many conversions. Well, like, okay, well hold up. Conversion is not the only reason people advertise. Like it's reach as well, right? Yeah. It's, it's not only about conversions. What reach? 